When it comes to the radical left-wing lunatics, both in and out of political power, they believe that nothing, that they themselves are above the law, and no one can stop them. But they don't realize a harsh truth, that their principles, their creed, their creed is not an act of permission, it's a warning. Ideals give way too easily to dogma. Dogma devolves into fanaticism. In the end, only we ourselves can safeguard against our obsessions. Only we can decide when the path we walk carries too high a toll. But the radical left believes they are free to pursue their goals no matter the, the cost, no matter who they have to step over to get what they want. Step on or over to get what they want. However, these riots have been doing the converse, causing people to rise up against them, to push back against them. But yet, in Democrat-run cities and states, the rulers turn a blind eye to these crimes. Crimes perpetrated by their supporters. And even when they signal them out, it's little more or than equivalent to getting a slap on the wrist and a warning. As opposed to a full jail sentence if, this was a if the city or state was run by a Republican. As more and more the major cities burn to the ground, rot and decay from liberalist viewpoint, from liberalist, liberal policies, tacts, and stratagems, more and more these cities are falling into decay and destruction. Get woke, go broke holds true. As the more woke these politicians become, the more they are bankrupting their cities. These and their states. And what I call for for these pigs in the mire, souls so indignant, these bar barriers, these belligerent barriers, is for them to be boiled and to be given their punishment in hell on earth, i.e., when they are thrown out of office, boil them in tar, throw boiling tar on top of their bodies. No feathers. They think Trump is hell on earth in the White House. What they are doing in their own states is hell on earth. They bow to the letter of woke law, yet violate the heart of the constitutional law. Justice, mercy, good faith. If they were blind, I'd say to what's happening physically, 
physically blind to what that was happening in the country today, I'd say these crooked politicians were are without would be without sin. But since they claim they see, their sin remains. And to those who are part of the BLM mob, and I'll use contacts with them in this case, and the scriptures I'll say, I'll use with them in mind instead of the scribes and Pharisees. Woe to you, politicians and BLM protesters, you hypocrites. You give a tenth of your spices, mint, dill, cumin, but you neglect the greater matters of the law. Justice, mercy, and faith. Tithe yet, but do not ignore the latter. Things. Blind guides. You strain in a gnat, but swallow a camel. Woe to you. Keepers of the law and protesters, you hypocrites. You clean the outside of the cup and dish. But inside, you're full of greed and self-indulgence. Blind Pharisees first clean first, clean first the inside of the cup and dish, and then the outside will be clean as well. Woe to you. Keepers of the law, and specifically the Democrats, and BLM protest and protesters, you hypocrites. You're like whitewashed tombs which are beautiful on the outside, but inside full of dead men's bones and all forms of corruption. Outwardly you appear people as righteous, but inside you're full of hypocrisy and wickedness. Woe to you, keepers of the Democrat Party elected officials and protesters, you hypocrites. For you build tombs for the prophets and decorate the graves of the righteous and say that if we had lived in the days of our forefathers, we wouldn't have lived, we wouldn't have taken part in the slaying of the prophets. But in saying that, you testify against yourselves and prove that you are indeed descended from those who murdered the prophets. So fill up the measure of the sins of your forefathers. You snakes, you brood of vipers, how will you escape being condemned to hell? Therefore, I'm saying you prophets, wise men, and teachers of the law. You will kill some by crucifixion, or bullets, cutting their heads off, stabbing. Others you will torture in your synagogues and flog them, chasing them from town to town. And as a result, you will be held accountable for the murder of all righteous blood of all time. For the murder of the righteous Abel, to the murder of Zechariah, son of Berechiah, whom you murdered between the temple and the altar. I tell you the truth, this judgment will come on your gener on this generation. Matthew 23, 23-36, though with a few alterations to fit the context of the situation at hand. And may those who continue to extend their shutdowns continue to see eternal punishment and damnation upon their... see bitter defeat in this year's gubernatorial and mayoral elections. And may they all die when they lose. Or at least suffer a fate worse than death when they get thrown out. Believe me when I say this, you fucking snakes. 
There are fates that are worse than death. It's late for me. Smash the like button, leave a comment, subscribe, goodbye, good night, bang.